everyone and welcome to my channel today. So today I have a layout for you using my October Click Kit. The Click Kit is entitled Sapphire and it features the Pink First Studio Indigo Hills collection. And I also used a lot of the Project Life cards from the kit. These are, some of them are exclusive and some of them are from Pink First Studio. And I used them to create a central border across my page. I inked up all of the edges with some chip, chipped sapphire distress ink and then placed my photo in the corner. I turned my photo to 3x4 so um, it would kind of match the sizes of a lot of the Project Life cards that I used. Um, I was inspired to do this layout by this pattern paper. I thought it was beautiful and I thought it just screamed to be um, the background for a layout. This layout went together really fast because I used that pattern paper and um, it was really just a matter of um, laying down those Project Life cards in the middle with my photo, adding some journaling and a simple title, and then making sure that my colors were distributed. There is a coral color in the kit that doesn't appear in the paper, my background paper, and then there's also the pink color that appears in the background paper but doesn't appear in the Project life cards that I used. So I have to make sure that I distribute those two colors around all the different parts of my layout to make the layout match and be cohesive. Mm. I'm using that project life card with the ampersand to uh, ground my title and it just created a really nice space for my title and it helped to guide what I used as my title. And then I'm going to grab my favorite Muji pen here and add my journaling and the date stamp to the layout. So I wanted to be sure that I stamped the date on this layout because I just put away an entire stack of layouts um, that I had sitting here and I realized that at some point um, during the last month or two of scrapbooking, I have stopped putting dates on my pages and I needed to get back into the habit of that very much so because um, I do put my, my layouts away chronologically and it got a little hard to figure out where certain layouts go and, and I just, I want to make sure I get those dates on it. Um, and it's not like I have a lot of layouts without dates, I almost always put it on, but just in the last month or two I've kind of stopped and so I really, really need to get back into the habit of doing uh, that to put the dates on at the very least the month that the photos were taken if I don't have the exact date because I recently had some um, camera phone issues and I, I lost um, 2,000 pictures off of my camera which sounds horrible and a big deal but it really wasn't because all of those pictures are uploaded to other sites and they are also on my laptop. So there's a very good reason to back up your photos. Um, but yes, I ended up needing to um, get rid of a bunch of photos on to um, off of my camera. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through these ephemera pieces that or die cut pieces that were in the kit. Um, so what I did was, was I just am slowly going through, I'm picking phrases that go with my story, I'm picking die cuts to go with my story, and most importantly, I am making sure that I pull some of the pink down into the middle part of my layout, and that I take some of that corally peach and put it up into the top and bottom clusters, embellishment clusters I've chosen. There's also the yellow in the background paper that I don't end up pulling down into the middle part of my um, layout because I was so focused on the peach and the pink, but the yellow doesn't bother me. Um, I don't think it's missing anything because it's not there, uh, but I wanted it to look, but the peach and the pink, because they were just so off, they weren't a contrasting color, they they were just a slightly, slightly off. It looked like they clashed or um, didn't match, and I wanted it to look intentional. Like, yes, I intentionally put this orange orangey Project Life card into this layout, and Yes, I know that there's a lighter pink at the top and bottom, so I'm going to make sure that I mix and match those colors together. So, but um, there is also that yellow, but the yellow did it, it, and the black too. I didn't put any of the black down, but for some reason, those two weren't, um, they, it wasn't bugging me as much <laughs> as making sure that the pink and the orange looked intentional. So, on 
camera I'm going to pick all uh, pick out all of the different ephemera pieces I'm going to use and off camera when this layout was all finished and you can see it in the photos I did add some um, staples with my tiny attacher. So I cut out a good bit of this putting all the ephemera down because my head was in the way. I've been having this nasty habit recently of putting my head underneath my camera. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what, what's causing that. So now I have all of those ephemera pieces inked up and I have them where I want them onto my layouts. And now I grabbed my Heidi Swap Color Shine in navy blue and I want to add some splatters to connect the top and the bottom of my layout to the middle of my layout with some diagonal navy blue splatters. And so that's what I'm going to do here. And I like the Heidi Swap Color Shine is fastly becoming not my favorite thing to use for splatters because as you can see you have to work, you either have to work really really hard to get the splatters out or they're kind of runny and it almost like it falls out of the bottle. Um, but this navy blue was the perfect color. It matched the collection really really well. As a last little addition to this layout, I'm going to pull some of the posh enamel dots and scatter them to kind of mimic those diagonal lines of the splatters. I'm going to use uh, the peachy colored ones at the top and bottom and then a couple of the navy blue ones down in the middle. And this is probably where I should have grabbed the yellow ones, but, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, and I'm just going to kind of do it almost in a diagonal right along with the splatters so that everything works together well and it doesn't look and so that my layout doesn't look uh, disjointed. And now we'll finish our layout today. This layout is part of a blog share with Click Kits and so if you want to check out my blog and hop along you can get a chance to win one of these amazing sapphire kits from Click Kits. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye!